supposed to land soon. I'm the only one awake. I don't understand. What can I show you? Show me Homestead 2. Homestead 2 is the fourth planet of the Bhakti system. Right. Where are we? We are in transit from Earth to Homestead 2. We will arrive in approximately 90 years. We land on Homestead 2 in 90 years, three weeks and one day. No, wait. How long ago did we leave Earth? Approximately 30 years ago. Aloha! This is Trinidad, your island man, coming to you live from Hawaii. Yes, I just finished seeing passengers. Uh, if you recognize the shirt, it's also the shirt I was wearing when I saw Assassin's Creed today on the 22nd of, uh, oh wait a minute, yeah, the 22nd of December. So yes, I saw two movies today, and uh, I have to say passengers was the better of the two films. Um, that being said, remember our rating system. Shock a thumbs up. It was a good movie. And I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down. It's junk. I don't recommend it. Uh, basically, just wait until it's on Netflix or streaming. Um, that being said, I have to say that uh, I agree with uh, one of the critics uh, that I tend to watch a lot. And I'm just going to go ahead and call her out right here. You know, Alasha Queen, I like your work. Um, and I agree with you. You, Alashia Queen, gave this uh, movie a C uh, for science fiction, because she likes science fiction. And I like science fiction, too. Uh, so, therefore, it was an okay movie. Um, so, overall, I would say, for passengers, I'd still say Shaka thumbs down overall. Um, you know, it was, it was an okay movie. You know, C sounds about right, but, you know, for me personally, I'd say that's a little too much to pay for. So, shock a thumbs down for Passengers. Although, this is the first movie that I really uh, didn't mind Jennifer Lawrence in. Uh, she was pretty good. Uh, Chris Pratt was excellent. Uh, I like his work in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry I didn't watch uh, Parks and Recreation. Uh, so I had no experience with him until Jurassic Park and, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm looking forward to part two. But uh, Passengers was an okay film overall. I'd say don't waste your money on it. Um, you know, $8 for, you know, the price of a ticket. Just see it streaming or better yet on Netflix, you know, uh, and then you can't go wrong. Aloha. Hey, this is Trinidad, your island man, uh, coming to you again, live from Hawaii, just to finish up my passenger's review. Uh, sorry, I had to change locations there. Um, this movie was really hard for me. I mean, it was, it was an acceptable movie. Uh, as, you know, a fan of science fiction, um, I did enjoy the science fiction aspect of it. Um, you know, um... Again, like Alasha Queen uh, brings up, uh, there are some morality questions to be answered with a movie like this. Um, you know, uh, it comes down to, you know, uh, there's a line in the movie that uh, Chris Pratt says, basically, if you knew, and there, this might be some spoilers. Actually, it, I think it is some spoilers, so if you want to shut off now, remember, overall, a thumbs 
uh, shock a thumbs down for this movie. Um, you know, just wait until it's on streaming or Netflix. Um, or, you know, if you really want to get your fix, there's no other movies out there to watch. You know, it's not a terrible movie. Um, so you could catch it for $6, you know, over at uh, Dole uh, on $6 Tuesdays. Um, outside of that, uh, let me just say there's this line that Chris Pratt says in the movie uh, to the bartender. He says, if, uh, if you were stranded on a desert island and you could wish a person there, would you do it? You know. Um, and of course the bartender can't help him because he's a robot or an android uh, in this case. But, um, you know... The, you know, the whole question of morality behind that is that it's not the fact that you, would you wish somebody there. Essentially, you're condemning somebody to die of old age uh, where they may not have wanted to be in the first place. That's the real dilemma. So essentially, you're killing somebody. That's the real moral dilemma. <sighs> so, you know... And those, those dilemmas are always a part of science fiction. What would you do? What could you do? And along with the uh, space travel, the interior of the ships, uh, the sets are really nice and pretty. The ship design is sleek and nice. Um, some people have said that, uh, you know, this movie reminds them of gravity. Uh, a little bit of 2001, maybe, 2010. Um, you know, but I guess gravity of recent ones. Um, there are aspects of it, people have said, remind them of Castaway. Um, I'd say it was more of, uh, you know, um, the Matt Damon movie, um, you know, The Martian, because, you know, although Matt Damon's alone on that uh, planet, Mars, uh, he does have contact with people. He is able to uh, uh, talk to them through the camera is able to go ahead and uh, communicate uh, later on through email. So it's not like he, he's, you know, some people have also compared it to Castaway, and it's not like Castaway. Uh, Tom, you know, uh, Tom Hanks was totally alone on that island, except for the volleyball, you know, which couldn't interact with him. Now, you could say that, well, his volleyball, uh, Chris Pratt's volleyball in this movie is the bartender. But again, I... I you know, I, uh, I don't accept that argument because the, uh, you know, the volleyball couldn't interact with him outside of his mind. You know, any communication he was having with him was all in his imagination. The bartender was a fully realized robot android, which could actually communicate, talk to him, tell stories, and, you know, come on, guys, let's go there. If that bartender android was a female, would he have really uh, needed or felt the need to wake up Jennifer Lawrence? You know, that's the question, that's the moral question I submit to you. Now, the fact that he didn't have any legs, you know, or the android didn't have legs, okay. But, you know, in the end, he didn't wake up another guy, you know, for friendship. Uh, he woke up a woman. Uh, you know, Jennifer Lawrence. Again, these are spoilers. Um, but again, if that uh, bartender was a female bartender, you know, which looked uh, pretty decent, you know, in the trailers, you know, that's where I got to draw the line. It's like, well, wait a minute. You know, what, what did he really miss? Because he was having, you know, fine conversations with them. What he was missing was the intimacy. <sighs> you know, um... You know, and I'm sure at least on a basic physical level at, uh, at a minimum. You know, now maybe emotional bond uh, grew eventually, but, you know, they did kind of, you know, have a good friendship, the him and the bartender. But, again, if the bartender was female, that's all I'm saying, would he have really, you know, thought about waking up Jennifer Lawrence? You know, if the bartender android looked like Jennifer Lawrence, he probably wouldn't have. You know, just a thought. All right, well, but overall, like I said, uh, as far as the ship design, people have said, oh, it looks really great. Um, you know, definitely not Star Trek-y because it's uh, more glamorous. It's a pleasure cruiser uh, of sorts, kind of like a luxury uh, ocean liner. 
And, uh, you know, people have raved about the uh, outside of the ship looking fantastic, uh, really innovative. To me, you know, TV science fiction had it beat already. Uh, the sleek look of it looks like a, maybe a Nimbari or a... Uh, uh, a uh, Vorlon, you know, ship from Babylon 5, you know. So right there, you know, the sleekness of the lines and the, the designs of the ship, you know, looked like, you know, TV. And also Babylon 5 again, the spaceship, uh, the space station, you know, in itself, you know, the hallways, you know, basic, metallic, um, still with some luxury items. You know, I draw more... Um, symbolism, uh, you know, comparisons between Babylon 5 and maybe this movie, you know, uh, than maybe Star Trek. Um, a part of me wanted to say lost in space, and there is kind of a line in there that Chris says, oh, I'm lost in space, you know. Um, I don't know if this was a nod to the TV show or the movie, but again, you know, with the, uh, you know, the sleekness of that ship at the design, for the uh, Lost in Space movie, the use of the CG in it, uh, which was pushing the envelope at the time that that movie was made, I think in the late 90s, um, just kind of goes to show you that, you know, these kind of concepts have been hit before. And so, again, that's why I'm giving it the overall shock of thumbs down for passengers. Uh, nothing really new and innovative in the movie. Um, you know, there were some cool concepts neat ideas, but again, you know, although I wasn't appalled by the movie by any chance, and it's not that I didn't, you know, that I didn't like the movie, it just didn't do anything for me. So, there you have it. My uh, review of uh, Passengers. So, you know, again, it's best if you just uh, watch it on streaming. Uh, like I said, if you're really dying for a movie, you've seen everything else, seen Rogue One already, uh, you know, check it out only at $6 on Tuesdays over at uh, Dole Theater. That's the best deal I can give you for that. And best advice. All right. Well, thanks for listening to my review. Uh, sorry I gave a couple of spoilers, but, uh, you know, it, it's kind of essential. I mean, everything in the trailer you see in the movie, and it follows that, you know, A to B to C to D, E, F, you know, all the way to the end. So... You know, again, I just wish that there had been something more innovative with the movie itself. So um, then maybe it would have uh, it would have got me a uh, little more, bit more satisfied overall. Like I said, I I don't dislike the movie. It just you know, for full price, you know, even full price manet over here, I don't think it's worth it. Which is why I'd say six dollars at the most on the discount. You know, Tuesdays, maybe Thursdays at uh, Consolidated, I think, if they're still doing that. I know Dole's still doing Tuesday, so check it out there for $6 if you really want to. But again, there's no rush. This is a movie you can see, uh, you know, at your leisure on Netflix later on. Or check it on streaming, you know, when it comes there for $5 or, or $2 or whatever. Uh, you know, you can pick it up at iTunes uh, to rent it. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Remember, aloha.